Welcome to Cars at Random, things you should know, the five major parts of a car engine. Before we get started, please subscribe to the channel and give us a like. Thank you for helping us grow. Every great structure needs a solid foundation. Your engine is no different. The engine block is the rock-solid foundation that the engine is built upon. The engine block provides the needed structure in the housing for the pistons, sometimes the camshaft, and for the crankshaft. There are holes in the engine block. These holes are called cylinders, and they provide the housing for the pistons. Depending upon your car, your engine may have from 4 to 16 cylinders. If you've heard of someone say they have a four-cylinder car, that means there are four cylinders machined into the engine block. How the cylinders are aligned or configured gives us another commonly referred to term like V or flat or in line. For example, a V6 is called a V because the cylinders are arranged in a V pattern. Pistons are in the cylinders and their movement converts energy released during combustion into mechanical energy that can be transferred to the crankshaft. The piston moves up and down inside the cylinder. This movement is in reaction to the internal combustion caused by the fuel within the cylinder being ignited. This combustion forces the movement of the piston, generating the mechanical force needed to move the vehicle. Typically, the piston will move up and down twice per combustion. The first time is to bring in fresh air and fuel, and the second is to release the exhaust gases. The crankshaft is a finely machined component that helps transfer the energy created by the pistons. Each piston is connected to the crankshaft through a connecting rod. Their movement after combustion transfers the piston's vertical energy to the rotary motion in the crankshaft. When someone talks about the RPM of an engine, they're referring to how many times the crankshaft makes a full rotation in a minute. The camshaft can be located in the engine block, or depending upon the engine design, it could be in the cylinder heads. Some engines have a single camshaft, while others have a dual overhead camshaft. Often the camshaft is connected to the crankshaft through a timing chain or a timing belt. Timing is crucial because the camshaft takes the rotary motion of the crankshaft and converts it into up and down movements. It is machined with lobes. These lobes allows it to control the lifters. The lifters move the rockers, push rods, and the valves. The camshaft has four strokes. Intake, bringing fresh fuel and air into the cylinders. Compression, compressing that fuel and air. Power, the result of the internal combustion of the compressed air and fuel. And exhaust, which is removing the gases that result from the combustion. The cylinder head is connected to the engine block with cylinder head bolts and sealed with the head gasket. The cylinder head contains the items that allow the pistons to operate. This includes valve springs, the valves, rockers, push rods, lifters, and in some engines, even the camshaft itself. When these five major parts are working in unison, the engine is able to achieve maximum power and efficiency. If one of these five parts fail, the engine can suffer in many ways. It could be a lack of power or poor gas mileage, and in some cases, complete failure. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel, Cars at Random. Give us a like and leave us a comment and let us know what topic or car we should talk about in a future video. Let's talk about cars tomorrow.